Recently, there's a video going around the internet that got a lot of attention. A guy by the name of Jean-Michael Tanak was filming a crescent moon near Montreal, Canada, when three UFOs appeared. These went across the surface of the moon and then disappeared into the shadow. We'll take a look at this video using digital forensics. We'll decide whether or not this is real or if it's been altered in any way. First, I'll play a clip of the video here, we'll and then we'll take a look at it afterwards. If you want to take a look at the original video, the link for that is in the description. Okay, I've taken some screenshots of the video we just looked at. The digital signatures that we're looking for are already in the image. So by using screenshots, we can just use what's already there. For this, we're looking at it with Forensically. This is free software. The link for it's in the description. You don't have to install anything. It just works right in your web browser. First thing I'm going to need to do is go ahead and take a look at the JPEG analysis and get the quality. We see that's at 94, so I'll just bump that up on our ELA up here. Once I've done that, taking a look at the digital signatures, we see that there's a lot of blue, orange, and then some gray also. And it's all pretty uniform throughout the whole image. If there had been anything altered to this, it would stand out because the digital signatures would change. And the ELA would bring that out for us. If we take a look at the original image, we see where our UFOs are there. Keep an eye on where in the image they are and once we switch to the ELA you see that the signatures are pretty much the same where the UFOs are compared to the rest of the image. It's all pretty uniform. It's all fairly consistent. Let's take a look at the next screenshot I have. You always want to get a good sample of it not just go off of one image. This next one they're already starting to pass in front of the moon. We're getting shadows on the surface of it too. So we'll take a look at both of those areas. So if they've been added to this image, they should stand out in the ELA. Now our quality is the same for these screenshots, so I don't really need to mess with that. Once we turn the ELA on, we see that we've got some difference in the edge of the moon. That's fairly normal. But the areas that we're looking for where the UFOs are and the shadows, keep an eye on those areas of the image. It's all pretty much the same as the rest of the image. Digital signatures are consistent. Let's take a look at our next screenshot. And these, they're already starting to pass into the shadow. So the shadows on the surface of the moon have already gone into the shadow of the sun and they're right in the middle our little UFOs are right in the middle of our image switching to our ELA or error level analysis we can see that everything looks pretty much pretty uniform let's keep an eye on where our UFOs are and we see that those Im those areas are fairly fairly close this is the same patterns it's the same signatures Nothing really stands out to say that this has been altered. Let's take another look at our fourth screenshot here. We see most of them have already disappeared. We've only got one left. So let's take a look at just that one little UFO under the ELA and we see the signatures that we pick up here are the same kind and they're in the same pattern as the rest of the image. Everything looks pretty uniform. That's what you want to see. If there, like again, if there's been anything added, it's gonna the digital signatures will change and you'll see that in the ELA. But as we can see here, they're pretty consistent throughout the whole thing. And just to take a just to compare my last screenshot here is once the UFOs have already passed over the entire moon. So they're not even in the image at this point. Now let's take a look at our error level analysis and see what we get there. 
and it's the same thing. All of the digital signatures are pretty consistent. You see it throughout the whole image. This is pretty much the same thing we've been looking at in all of these screenshots. So we can say pretty definitively that this has not been altered. This is actually real footage. What this person captured above the moon was there when he originally filmed it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have my email address in the description of this. If you want to send me a video or a photo to look at, go ahead and just email me and we'll take a look at it. I hope you have a great day and enjoy yourself.